crack a tinny. It's time to actually crack a tinny. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> the road was a little rough to get up here on the mountain. G'day guys and welcome back to Camp Crack a Tinny. I'm Andrew and uh, we're up here at the lake. I got Timbit who's sitting down by the lake trying to stay cool. Um, all right, so uh, early on in this channel, I guess, but uh, what I've been working on since last fall, um, about this time last year, this cabin behind me here, um, we went a couple of hours away from where we are and we rescued it. It was collapsed down. Uh, I still do have another cabin actually out of that same location in better condition. Um, hopefully you get to rescue that and uh, put that up on the hill up here. Um, but this one here, uh, building it to be a boat shed, so I can park the boats in here for the winter and whenever and get them out of the weather. Um, it It's in a little rough shape, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, we'll get her covered up and that should stop any issues further in the future. Um, and this corner right here and the car door opening behind me, um, that was the worst collapsed corner of the uh, of the cabin. So we've lost some of the wall just here. There. Um, that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna uh, stick frame that in with uh, two by eights, and um, and then line that with uh, recycled tin and put a window in. We're gonna put a few windows in this and a door over in the far corner there. That far window. Um, that is going to become a door, a regular man door. Uh, there'll be some sort of sliding or some sort of door here in this opening. And then the peak will come off this wall here. And then out this side will be like a carport area, 20 foot wide carport, 20 foot wide cabin uh, with the peak in the middle there. Um, so, uh, so yeah, come along. Um, I've done all this work. I know I got the other channel there. Um, I started this one because not many people were really following the, the cabin works on that one, more of the car stuff. So this one will be more about the cabins and camping and getting out and about in the bush. Um, so thanks for coming along and uh, watch me as I uh, start to frame this in a little bit and uh, get it ready for maybe hopefully I uh, will have time to get a roof on before the snow flies in a few months. Um, I, I don't get up here, uh, I guess I do get up here a lot, but not, not as much as I'd like to be up here working on this. So um, let's take a little walk around. Let me grab the camera and we'll walk around and see it. This, this cabin was originally built back in the 1940s. I imagine by looking at some of the joints and so forth, the notching on the corners, the notches are upside down. They should be notched up, um, but they're notched under because I'm guessing the uh, they're a little strapped on time, so they took the easy way out. Um, but there's going to be enough roof over this to stop any further decay uh, in the future and keep it uh, good and dry. This is a dry climate where we are. Um, this was the second cabin on the ranch that it came off. Uh, the original cabin is actually the better cabin. <laughs> it's in much better condition still out there. Uh, it, the original one was 16 by 16. This one is 20 by 24, basically. Um, so a little bigger. And uh, all right, let me grab the camera and do a little walk around. And uh, you can see kind of the overall condition and where we're up to and what we're going to do next. All right, so this is going to be the garage door uh, so we can. Uh, back the trailers in here and as I said this corner here was the most collapsed we've lost the logs that went across here the ends of these logs were really punky as you can see there's still a little punky in them I'm sure some of you are going to be screaming at me just no don't put punky whatever it's a boat shed it should uh, it should be fine as long as we keep it dry from for the rest of its life and uh, we're going to stick with the natural weathered color. Now the bases here are um, the foundation timbers I guess. They're 16 by 8 bridge timbers so they do have some creosote on them but we're not living in this cabin so that's okay. I then put 
metal flashing on and then on the outside of the creosoted stuff will be recycled tin um, I've got to metal up uh, some six by three and a half um, uh, lengths of lumber to fill in this bottom blank along uh, empty section along there uh, we're just going to use regular lumber for that uh, oop. there were some walls on the inside hence these notches here all right As saying, she was kind of built in a hurry I imagine some of these notches and so forth they look kind of good on camera but yeah she was built in a hurry I imagine winter on the way probably um, we did label them all so that making reassembly quite a lot easier this window will remain a window For now, because it's just going to be a boat shed, I'm not, I'm not worried about it being airtight and all the gaps and stuff. Uh, moving on, I probably, least of my uh, priorities is to fill the gaps in the logs. But it is a priority, eventually, but the, the last one on the list, um, purely just to keep the bats out. Uh, so this area right here, we had to cut this bottom beam, make it long enough. Um, and then this will actually be cut out all the way wider here and this will become a doorway and then out on this side here's our ditch oh there's a spare log here's our ditch um, so coming out this way off the front of the cabin this way with the lake view um, I am going to put like a five foot deck out of here um, with the awning or the roof coming out over that five foot deck all the water will run straight in the ditch and then the biggest window of all I will probably put a window in here uh, I have some old windows that came out of the old um, US military air base that was just down the road from here back in the Cold War um, so I'm going to use some of those single pane steel frame windows they're really neat and cool um, so what they don't fill in this hole, I will actually just frame in like a little uh, shutter that I can open and let the air flow through as well. And all right, coming around. Now we did lose, I think, two two rows of logs um, that were buried in the dirt, basically. Um, where this cabin was so we lost them because they were punky really punky and crappy so that's why these timbers will help on the bottom bridge timbers now the one laying flat on its side here uh, will be the base I'm gonna set a floor on top of the the one laying flat on its side um, eventually I will put like a 2x6, 2x8, 2x10, whatever I can get out of the mill uh, floor through here, um, supported in the middle by a couple of rows of timber um, so this will be elevated off the ground and not gravel um, to give it a little nicer finish now originally I think, let's see on this side of the cabin, we've, this, this was a short wall here and then we've got another notch in the back here that a wall butted up against and then there was these all the way up here except we trimmed off the punkiness of those to timber frame that in so there was a wall out here so I imagine that back in the day in the back of the cabin here there would have been one room here one room here probably one bedroom another bedroom um, and then living room, cooking, whatever. I can't really remember where the stove was positioned because all the roof was totally collapsed in. It had a sod roof on it, um, dirt roof. And I imagine that, uh, I think the cabinets, there was some skinny cabinets that went up here. And the carpentry, they had the, um, was all held together 
quite neatly with these big dowels. Um, I do have one of those big, oh here it is, here's one of the big dowels. I don't know where this one came from but as you can see in the dowel there's a wedge in the end. So what they did, they uh, whittled this down to the dimension they needed. They put the wedge in the end of the split and then drove it home into the hole which then when it got to the bottom of the hole split the wedge made it um, made it wider and tighter and that's what held them held them in there um, which one this came out of I'm not really sure but uh, there were some of these wedges holding shelves there were some wedges just for hanging stuff on uh, so the dowel sorry for hanging stuff on all right well Let's get this wall framed up.
Yeah. Well, anyway, guys, it's a couple of days down at Camp Krakatini. It's time to actually crack a tinny. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> the road was a little rough to get up here on the mountain. Today we're having a um, Sleeman's Pierpoint IPA. Sorry for the wind, it's a little windy. This is one of the spots here we uh, get to get away from Camp Krakatini and come and crack a tinny and enjoy the view and the, and the silence except for me rambling on the video. So. Um, Thanks for coming along. Hope I've uh, earned your subscription today. Remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification. We'll see you next time on uh, Camp Krakatini where we'll get some more down on the cabin now. Thanks for coming along. Cut! <laughs> Krakatini.